Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Tanker and welcome back to another video on my channel. So yeah, we're going to be starting off with a new series today and yep, you guessed it, it's Destiny. So, let's get started. Um, by the start of this video, I'm going to be showing you where Zer is. So basically, he's where he has been for the past couple of weeks. Actually, no, I think he did move. He did move for one of the weeks, but he's pretty much been down here for a lot of the time now. So, yeah, here he is, Zer. Um, and I'm going to show you what he's offering today. He's offering the chest armor for the Titan, the helmet for the Hunter, um, the gloves for the... What's it called? The... Uh, oh, God. You know what I mean? Warlock. There we go. I got it eventually. And he's also going to be offering the No Land Beyond. So, if you don't know what this is, it's a sniper rifle. Very nice sniper rifle. Kind of reminds me of a, like a World War Two kind of rifle. I'm definitely getting that. I have enough strange coins now, so I'm going to buy it right now. Oh, well, you actually have to hold it down now. Okay, so I've got the No Land Beyond. Yay! <laughs> So, no land beyond. Oh, this is a primary, isn't it? Okay, then. Look at that. Jeez. That thing's massive. So, good things about this gun. Um, okay, so it can be equipped as a primary weapon, which is good because I'm pretty sure if it's a primary weapon, you should be able to put primary weapon ammo into it. So that's the first thing which is really good about it. Increased precision damage, which means basically that, you know, if you hit someone in a precision spot, it's going to be a lot more powerful. Um, okay. What else? Kills both humans. Right. So, what sort of upgrades we can go for it? Missing a shot has a chance to return ammo into directly into the magazine, which is a good perk because, you know, if you miss your shot, you, you, you just got a straight one back into the chamber. Boom, you're ready to go again. So, okay. So it's pretty much got everything it normally has a sniper rifle. Um, kinetic damage, so it doesn't actually have any uh, specific damage like flame, arc, it's just nothing. So, what's the other one? Lightweight, grants two agility, agility. aiming is incredibly fast, reload speed. Oh, so that's always good. I'd probably go for that, you know, so you can be like a little what's it called? <laughs> you can be uh, a little sniper. Make some little montages. <laughs> but yeah. Right, let's go test out this uh, sniper rifle. We'll go and test it out right now. Be right back. Okay, so straight away you can clearly see that this gun is an absolute beast. <laughs> Old fashioned design, looks amazing. Kind of reminds me of like a, a Martin Nagan out of like World at War or some kind of bolt action rifle. But yeah, um, I've got six minutes of gameplay using this, uh, this gun. So I don't really want to bore you with it, so I'm only going to make it about two minutes, two, some, two minutes, something like that. Just talking about the gun, so you can clearly see from the video above or whatever that the um, the gun's like got a cool little bolt action um, animation. I was literally doing it with my hand then, like an animation, um, and it's got a cool little reloading feature. You know, pull the magazine, cock the handle back. It's it's all just awesome. Um, but yeah. The damage on this gun, I'd, I'd like to say it's really impressive, but I, I kind of, I'm not that impressed with this gun. Um, you can see it's 302 attack damage, but when you actually get a headshot on someone, it's, it's nearly an instant kill. Most of the time it is, but for the time it takes to reload, as you can see now, it, it's far too long, and someone could easily kill you, and just, you know, just completely, just decimate you by the time you've got a chance to reload and have another shot at them. So I think it's a major disadvantage the time it takes to actually reload this gun. Now there is a perk on the gun to actually um, to actually make it reload quicker, but I'm not sure if that includes actually putting the bullet into the chamber, or it just means like reloading the gun in general, like pulling out the magazine. So yeah, that's one downfall of this gun. 
Um, secondly, it's got no other damage apart from kinetic, which could be a bit of a problem when you're going up against like higher enemies that have like high shields and they need like arc damage or void damage or whatever to take them down. So that's another downfall with this gun. Um, to be fair though, I do think it's a very beautiful gun. Cool little, um, cool little look to it. Kind of reminds me of like an AS50 barrel, but <laughs> an old-fashioned gun. Um, one thing I don't really like as well is that it's a sniper rifle and it doesn't have a scope. Yeah, it, I know it may be a bolt action themed rifle, but I even think that the bolt action iron sight thing looks pretty bad. Um, apart from that, the gun's an amazing gun. The, on nights you're going to pretty much get an instant kill every time because it's a higher enemy, bigger enemy, bulkier, you know, that sort of stuff. Um, Thrall, that, that's another thing that's really bad for Thrall because you know you got eight of them or eight or nine of them coming at you, you've got six in the magazine, you're gonna have to switch to a fusion rifle or something because you know you just can't handle it, just too many of them, too many. You just get absolutely destroyed and in beans is in this game you can't really get collaterals or anything like that, it's just gonna be you know just devastation for you. So yeah, that's my that's my review review on the gun. Wow, I didn't think I was doing a review. I just thought I was going to show it off a bit, you know, um, just to show you where Zer is. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, be be sure to smash that like button. And before I go, I've just seen a reminder on screen now. Um, Mr. Zeno Gaming, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Mr. Zeno Gaming, good channel, fucking awesome content you know GTA 5 videos um, he uploads loads of funny moments I have actually been in a few of his videos recently we've had a good time done some racist stuff like that so you guys should definitely go check out his channel he's very underrated he puts a lot of time and effort into his videos so yeah I'll see you guys in a bit Tanker out